Okay, that's weird. I never logged back into my Twitter, and then somehow it logged me back in. Well, which works for me, because I don't feel like punching anything in. Alright, so I have to read off of the Discord, so I just simply took a screenshot of what Sim wrote in the announcements, and then just try to fit in all the important stuff, which is obviously this part. So the first thing I'm going to do is open image in new tab. Can you guys see this? Yes, and it is recording. So first, let me go back here, open this thing. Uh, okay, I guess we'll do it this way. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, there you go. And it also helps that, you know, I have the camera off because obviously I don't feel like t putting the shirt on. All right, so... <coughs> All right, so you might... So you might have noticed by now that Sphere... Let me actually get the chart link for this. Well, the exception of Titano and LockPay, it looks like crypto is still doing okay. So that's actually a pretty good sign because it's a three-day weekend. And uh, let me see. I don't know which chart I should use. I mean, I guess we'll just use... I actually like this one better, but we'll switch between the four-hour and one day. Actually, let's do the chart first so we get it out of the way. So you'll notice that, you know, Sphere has been, you know, just getting pounded like crazy, right? It was as low as, like, sub 4.6 cents. So as soon as Sim made the announcement yesterday that Sphere is going early deflationary uh, or fully deflationary in early June, I immediately knew we all had to buy this up and everyone else is doing the same. So that's exactly the reason why it's going up. Right now, the free market is pricing in Sphere going fully uh, deflationary. So one thing I didn't actually do yet, I was saving it for this video, is I actually want to look at this. So the total supply of Sphere now is 20 billion or so. That should be a billion, all right? Uh, so Civ definitely still has to do the 2.1 contract upgrade. So yet again, we have to switch contracts and he might have to do another airdrop. It's very annoying. He did promise that this will be the last time he, we would have to go through something that annoying. Um, because he wants to switch the liquidity pool from Matic pair to like I think US dollar circle pair all right but you know it went fine the first time it's just a minor inconvenience I just like to complain because it's like yeah you know cause, but whatever so anyway I just realized I gotta uh, do some maintenance on my video games uh, for Hades Star <laughs> so anyway all right so this the uh, sphere has basically gone up you know, he's, yeah, basically has gone up 20, uh, 101, 103% or whatever, right? Really good, right? So, let's see. If the circulation, so early June. So let's just say June 14th, right? You know, the day that the slaves were freed. Because, you know, here in America, they're trying to attack uh, white people. So, they piss people off. So, that's why they're doing racial Division, division holidays just make people angry. So in celebration of June 14th, uh, I'm trying to figure out what will be the total supply of Sphere at that point. And then I have to factor in, because what, what I'm really trying to do is I'm trying to figure out what the actual intrinsic value of Sphere is going to be when we do actually switch over to 0% APR. In addition to whatever this thing is about to say, because he actually wants to do something different. Uh, which is good. So let's see. I am looking for the burn address. Oh yeah, this burn address hardly has any coins. So, all right. So I can basically just take this entire number that we see here at face value. So I want to say maybe 35 billion. Do you think 35 billion? I mean, that's a pretty large... Yeah, 35 billion will probably be good. I mean, that's I'm trying to figure out a number that's much greater than what it should be by June 14th because I just don't feel like doing the math. I want to keep this video short. So we compare that total supply with, let's see, dog coin. This has a circulating supply of 132.6 billion, and it's proof of work, and it's worth 8.1 cents. So even at 35 billion sphere, and it's gonna, we're gonna we're likely gonna have less than that unless it takes sim forever to get this upgrade going. Let me see, for whatever reason that is. Uh, let me think. 35 billion, 70 billion. 
Okay, so sphere is going to be worth four times the value of dog coin, which would be 32.4. Is that right? Eight times four is 32. Yeah, 32.4 cents. So sphere right now is actually undervalued by approximately 32.4x. 32.4x, 3,240%. So this should actually be worth 32, 32 cents. I wish it was worth $32. Uh, it actually will be someday, but you're gonna have to w hold this for a long time. It's actually worth 32.4 cents, assuming that the total supply of sphere. And remember, I didn't really check the other things here, right? But I mean, the only thing that really matters is the debt address. The coins inside the contract also still count because these are all contracts. So, so, and again, I'm using a very like uh, I don't know what the number is, conservative estimate of like an over deliberately over estimating how much sphere will be present on June 14th. Because obviously, if we make the deflationary switch before June 14th, this thing becomes even more valuable, all right? So yeah, so sphere is definitely going to the moon, right? So, but we do have a baseline reference, all right? 32.4 cents. I'll make sure I'll write that down. Uh, in the YouTube description. Now, I'm going to be doing a lot of writing today, it looks like. Okay, so obviously people have already figured that out in some intuitive sense. That's why, you know, you see a giant, you know, huge spike, despite everything else going down. So, all right, so that's really good. So let's see, okay, so first things first, the deflationary means, yeah, so here, all right, so he, yeah, you can take it right here from Sim himself. Let's talk about deflation. Basically, we will be hard cap in supply. There will be no more rebasing and no more inflation. There's a fixed amount of sphere. So, Sim, what about the taxes? They will, of course, remain. Rebases did not make up the taxes that you pay. Rebases are only effective when the market crap grow market, <laughs> market crap, market cap grows, since the market cap growth would be able to sustain inflation. Now imagine revenue streams that burn the fixed supply instead of hedging against this inflation. We promote deflation and increase the value purchasing power of sphere. Basically, if you saw my video, my last video about Woodcoin, which was the video about Ethereum's uh, 2.0 upgrade, it's the same exact thing, right? If I pull up the Woodcoin price chart, right, it, this thing just keeps going up because again, there's no more supply being minted. In the case of Woodcoin specifically, because Logic X, the guy who made the Elite Discord, he absolutely loves Woodcoin. That guy, I don't want to say how much money he has in this, but he's been, he's going to become a multi-millionaire with this if he holds it long enough. There, like, all of the Woodcoin has already been printed, so it can only get more valuable. It truly is a unique commodity. Even it's even rarer than gold, right? And that's why you can see that people figure that out because again, the Federal Reserve is constantly doing this. Right to our money supply. Meanwhile, you know we'll have to see what they do with the. Actually, I want to see. Yeah, they are actually unwinding down their balance sheet, like they said they would. But I guess they, like Greg said, they have a new excuse to inflate the debt, so they're they're able to get away with it. Also, they kind of need to do that because inflation is kind of out of control, and they need and the Fed has to pretend that they're fighting inflation. So unwinding their balance sheet is a good way to do that. Yeah, so basically Sphere is going to do exactly this, right? Once Sphere over here, like Sim said, goes fully deflationary. So how much money do you want to make in life, right? I don't know about you, but if you had like 10 million Sphere tokens, which is a lot of money right now, and Sphere hits $1, million, uh, $1 eventually, and it easily can do that, right? Depending on how quickly we can burn all these tokens. Uh, I mean, yeah, you have $10 million. What can you do with $10 million? It's like, the, it's like those, I forgot what commercial, I think it was a bank. It's like, what will you do with your wallet? Or what will you do with your money? Or something like that. That's exactly what this is. Okay, so, so the revenue stream from all the income production of, you know, Dystopia, Penrose, and, you know, whatever Sphere does, is going to, you know, buy back a little bit of Sphere and then burn it, right? So, so this thing is going to constantly be going up in price. We will force it to grow without relying on investors' money fairly soon. Right now, we are playing the silent game. Let the protocol bleed for a bit for a good reason. The smaller the market cap and ratio to the treasury, the more healthy it is for the protocol. Trading at a premium is always risky because it makes a crash much harder. That is true. If you look at LockPay, it's going down a lot, right, because it went up so much. And because it went so up so much from a very small 
like fraction of a penny, like two decimal places, the crash is going to be pretty hard on LockPay. I'm still going to hold it, uh, but you know, you know, it'll just have to just keep doing its thing until like you know. And again, it's the three-day holiday weekend, so you know, it's just going to be constant dumping pressure until like you know Monday night, Tuesday morning. So it's it's got a ways to go. Uh, thanks to the taxes, though, we will be able to alleviate some of that and on top burn tokens. The burning will help us decrease the supply, a simple explanation. Bitcoin has a 21 million token total. So he uses Bitcoin as an example. I use Woodcoin because, you know, Woodcoin actually does not produce new coins. Bitcoin technically is still making new tokens. Imagine over time the supply halves, what happens to the price, and it goes up by double, right? Woodcoin's obviously better. I should keep this up here. Obviously, what couldn't even better than Bitcoin because obviously it's not producing any tokens. All right, it truly is a, com a, a a unique commodity. A uh, couple out market sentiment: Bitcoin is a luxury item more than it already is. This is what we're forcing with our model. Make the revenue streams of Sphere make Sphere valuable. Last man standing, the ultimate PVP. Who will hold the most valuable token in all of DeFi? Time will tell. Sphere is going to aim to take the throne. Tomorrow, we'll governance tokens with Sphere, all its partners and satellite projects. We're seeing comfy as kingpins. Yeah, the funny thing is, like every all the good stuff Sphere has done has not helped the price, right? No matter what Sim does. Well, but again, that's because people are just like, yeah, this is BS. But now that you know Sim is basically turning off rebases, Sphere, like you can't have that anymore because because it. You, it doesn't produce any more tokens. It, the price basically only goes up. If it goes down, it's because people are abandoning Sphere or they're lowering their position. So, with Sphere, all it's part of. Oh, I read that. AMA, make sure to write down things. It's going to get more complicated as it should be. No worry. You hold Sphere and we do the rest. We are doing explanations, not to help you understand, but rather show you how good and complicated the things we are building. We basically flex, which is good since you're betting on a winner. Yeah. So basically, Sphere's got it all. Sphere. Yeah, well, Sphere, but Sims got it all figured out. I already know from my point of view, from the investment point of view, that this actually... I actually forgot, since I'm doing a Sphere video, I can put this in the Discord so they can help promote this video too. But yeah, from my investment perspective, yeah, this is exactly what's going to cause Sphere. Basically, as long as the Federal Reserve keeps doing what they're doing, which we all know that they're going to do, Sphere is going to go like to the moon. Like If you hold Sphere long enough... Like, you know, it can be like $10, $20, $30, which of course means that the, the circling supply at that time has to be very low. You know, maybe like a couple of million. So it's going to take a while. But, you know, you really are holding on to like, you know, the next Bitcoin, essentially. All right. So, you know, it works for me. And we already know that it, this tech model works because all the major cryptos do that. Well, all the major proof of work with fixed supplies like Bitcoin do that. And of course, I know what happened with Woodcoin, right? Because Logic X loves like Woodcoin. And you can see the price trajectory of Woodcoin, all right? It follows, it's essentially catching up to what this sh what it should be doing, which is what the Federal Reserve here is doing, right? Look at the money supply for the United States, right? It looks exactly like Woodcoin. There's a reason for that, all right? And now that Sphere is going to go on that same exact path, I mean, you know, I don't want to tell you all how much I have, but, you know, yeah, I could be a multimillionaire just holding this, you know, long enough, right? Obviously, I would like to have, have that happen faster, but again, <clears throat> it's going to probably take a while to burn through all these sphere tokens, and that's fine. I mean, I'm just freaking happy that, you know, this thing has stopped bleeding for now, you know, because, you know, you get a, if you let it go too... Because Sphere was on its way to going back to the original, original pre-white white list number one, where I bought it at 0 .001. Mm. That's actually really bad for sentiment, right? It's going to cause people to seriously question the project to be let you know go go down. In fact, we were we actually dropped way below launch date price. That's always really bad. So, anyway, I look forward to Sphere becoming like Woodcoin. All right. Because just look at the just look at this trajectory, um, and the fact that it's already spiking in the middle of like a three day holiday. I mean, I don't know what more you need to say, you know, about this project. Now I have to figure out before I end this video. Do I want this to replace the video I have in the playlist with this one? Uh, 
I mean, I think it would be better for me to do that simply because this thing's no longer going to be a rebase project. So this and this is actually the updated video. So yeah, I guess I should do this. Um, and then okay, so I got to figure out. Okay. Oh, you know what? I better make sure I get the right address for Sphere, so you guys don't wind up going to the uh, wrong <laughs> the wrong page. Oh, great. Can't click. Just give me a second, guys. And gals, and let me make this video public real quick. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, so I don't know how am I going to do this. All right, I'm just going to link to the Sphere page. You can click uh, all the other links. Um, okay. All right, so I'm actually going to include the Woodcoin chart yet again because this is because you want to see the future of Sphere and the price action. It's exact. You're looking at it right now. This is exactly it. Uh, I will also probably have to remember to actually you know what I'll just I'll just duplicate this I'll also include the Federal Reserve chart all right because again look look at this like there's a reason why I know how to make money all right despite losing money in like you know shitcoin scam projects like let's say rocket science zone and I'm still able to pull profit from a scam right before it implodes all right that's how good I am at this and you get the benefit of that for free all right, so that's why you gotta like donate or help me out or <laughs> or actually I have to include the cash app icon on my social. I'll I'll do that today. Um, but yeah, and oh that's the other thing too. When we go switch to version two point one, I think we're gonna have to reset the chart yet again because we have to use a different con. Ah, oh, God, this is so annoying. All right, but again, hopefully, uh, but you know, Sim did realize yeah that is kind of annoying. So he said, uh. I, I forgot what he said, but he he basically told everyone that he'll be able to switch between the two liquidity type pools, so Matic or stable coins, and we won't have to keep switching the stupid contract address, which is actually very problematic because you have to resubmit your token again to Coin Market Cap and Coin Gecko, right? And you lose out on very valuable marketing because of it. So yeah. But anyway, Sim will take care of all that. You know, he's taking good care of everybody. And, uh, you know, what can I say? I mean, I'm, you, I can already see the future. So, yeah. So anyway, I'm def I am already tried buying up Sphere. I think I'll try to keep buying up more Sphere while, I can, while it's still cheap. Right? Problem is, um, you know, money's really tight. And again, you know, I'm still trying to rebuild from, you know, because because I actually have to worry about two things, right? One, I have to replace Rocket Zone income stream, and I'm no longer selling a little bit of Sphere every day. Now I actually want to hold all the Sphere because I know it's no longer going to be making any more tokens. So now now or never, right? It's now or never. So anyway, it's up to you. But yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'll be replacing the playlist video of Sphere that I did, I guess, a couple months ago with this one, because now this is the one with the actual updated uh, information, and, I'll, and this will probably be here for forever. But yeah, when will I ever sell Sphere? That's a good question. Probably when it hits like a dollar, and I need to sell a little bit. But the problem is, it's just going to keep going up beyond the dollar, right? Because the circulating supply in Sphere, if I can find it will always trend towards zero, right? Because every time you buy and sell Sphere, there's a tax and there's an auto burn. So that's like, what, 2.5% or 2% or something like that? I know, I know Sim does adjust it, so. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, I did not realize this is almost a 19 minute video. So like, subscribe, share this video around. Uh, thank you again to all the, old, all the old and new people watching uh, you know this channel. I rely on you to gr help grow this channel and of course if you're new i normally have a camera on but it's humid it's hot it's now summertime i have my shirt off so the camera is turned off so yeah but i'll have my shirt on for next time unless it gets very hot well in that case i would have to turn on the uh, air conditioner so yeah anyway check out sphere uh it's uh it's got a very bright future i mean as of this recording it's already up a hundred and well it's actually up 103 percent now it's down to like a little fraction but basically it's up double so and it's going much much higher all right so i need to grab i need to grab as much as i can before uh this thing uh stops rebasing so yeah
Uh, let me see. Yeah, I made sure to hide my Discord. I mean, you know where to find me on Discord. I just don't want to, like, make it public because I don't want, like, you know, a hundred of you just randomly sending me friend requests because I always reject it unless I know you personally in some form. All right? You're better off just talking to me in my Twitter. But even Twitter is actually starting to take off a little bit, too. I still have this thing up here. I might want to unpin this tweet eventually. Yeah, so I've been able to kind of figure out how to make good tweets, but it's actually pretty hard, right? Because I have to constantly deal with, you know, all the shadow banning and censorship BS. But yeah, you like to see it, right? You know, I like to see it. All these greens. Before it was just all red. Now it's just all greens. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know. What's a good picture? We don't actually have a really good picture thumbnail. Here, I guess we'll use this as a... Uh, Actually, what is the bird per set? Yeah, he doesn't mention it because it's adjustable. But I think I know I think it's around two point five or three percent or two percent. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. See you next time. I don't know when that'll be. It should be Tuesday or after that. All right. But uh, yeah. Oh, and obviously I'm posting this in the Sphere community, so you know, appreciate if you guys would and gals would uh, spread this video around. Unless you don't want the price to go up, in which case. But why, why would you do that? I mean, we, we need this thing to go up, right?